discuss with you guys um, what else happened throughout my um, throughout my personal journey. Now, before I start, I know you guys are wondering, okay, Fab, what happened? So pretty much, um, long story short, I was experiencing a lot of shoulder pain, really through uh, on both shoulders. I went in for a shoulder surgery. On Monday, it was a very, very quick and simple procedure. My arm is in a sling, you know, but I can um, take this off on Monday. I'll be going to physical therapy and regaining the strength in my, um, in my arm and, I mean, in my shoulder, and I'll be feeling better. So, back to why I'm making this video. I wanted to let you guys know what else um, I had experienced. It was May of 2019 that I had decided to get Lipo 360 with fat transfer to the hips and the buttocks. Yes. Now, I don't even think I needed to tell you guys this. I'm pretty sure you guys were able to tell just from looking at my pictures. No matter how many times people tell you to squat, 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 squat. I mean, I was squatting for like ugh, ever and like a small difference but it didn't make no 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 should have just gotten fat transfer in the first place and then go to the gym and do strength training and things like that but whatever I guess I did things backwards but hey you guys can learn from me and if you're interested in doing you know um you know other surgeries you know look into those first and then go to the gym it really is a combination but what I'm saying is you know, my ass was flat. I, I don't care. I, I can say that because I've come so far and I'm at a place where it's like self-love and I can look at all angles and just know, okay, this is why I did that. Because yes, in my eye, my ass was flat. Whatever. I did experience ooh, complications. The surgery itself was very painful. It was, I had a local anesthesia. And, oh boy, when I tell you I woke up when they were doing the procedure, I mean, the doctor was just like, phew, phew, phew. and I'm like, oh, I literally felt like somebody was stabbing me. That's how painful it was. And I just remember getting up, I was just crying. And the doctor's like, what's wrong? He asked me, what's wrong? I'm like, doctor, you're stabbing me and I feel it here. <laughs> he ended up giving me more pain meds and then I just knocked out and I went back to sleep. I remember just coming home that night and I mean when I tell you blood I lost so much blood I just remember telling my mom with all my strength like I'm not feeling well like help help call 911 no exaggeration oh, like, please please call 911 no, no. she's like okay, maybe it's because you didn't eat you didn't eat all day so sit down, I'm going to make you some food. She made me eggs and toast. I had shrimp soup there. I was just like, I was all right. I feel like I'm, I'm about to go. She gave me the eggs and toast. I ate it. And I just sweat the bed. I, was, I, got, I got sick. We called the doctor too and they said, you know, it's normal. Um, because, you know, they did liposuction. It was a lot because, you know, um, I wanted a lot of the fat out to like put over here so it was a lot the next day the next day was my birthday don't ask me why i decided to do surgery the day before my birthday so the next day was my birthday i had to go to the doctor's office and they checked me out and they just said you know um that everything was normal and things like that but i really felt like i was going i mean i felt so weak it got so bad to the point where man using the bathroom was a task it was a chore. I mean, like, I couldn't breathe. I would go to the bathroom, like, like, I would shower, and just getting out the shower, I'd be, like, gasping for air. Going from the bathroom to my room, gasping for air. Putting on my clothes, gasping for air. I had no idea what was going on, really. It was, like, a week later. Now I went to uh, do my follow-up appointment and the doctor was like, you need to go to the hospital. And I was like, oh, fuck. No, 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 no. I'm not going to the emergency room, okay? Now if I go to the emergency room 
everyone's gonna know. And then it's just, no, 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 no. So I went to urgent care. The care looked at me like, okay, well, no, you need to go to the emergency room. I went to the emergency room and I just explained to them my symptoms. I cannot breathe. I told them the surgery I had. They ran all the tests on me. Long story short, they saw that my blood levels were so low. The doctor looked at me and said, you need a blood transfusion. Blood transfusion? No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I said, doctor, listen. I know someone who had a blood transfusion and they died. I'm not getting no blood transfusion. You can die from that, you know? No. He told me, I'm gonna let you think about it. He comes back and he's all right, you ready? I said, ready for what? No, 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 I'm gonna take my iron pills and stuff like that. I'm not getting no blood transfusion. He looked at me and he was just like, oh no, 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 no. You must not know how serious this is. You need a blood transfusion and you need it now. And I'm just like, okay, whoa. All right. Just let's just do it. Because now I look dumb. I look dumb because I'm telling the doctor, listen, I don't want a blood transfusion. Like you could die from this shit, you know? Meanwhile, I got a whole lipo 360 and and fat transfer and like that's why I'm here in the first place. Cause that can't cause that. You know, so I was just like, Ooh, la la la. They gave me the blood transfusion, and I needed like two liters of that. And that was like the scariest complication that I've ever had. And I just remember before I left, I asked the nurse. I said, "Excuse me, um, what would happen if I didn't come here? Like, would I like die or something? Or like, was I dying?" The way she put it was like, basically, yes, <laughs> yes. You would just sat there, and you would have just died. <laughs> so that was very scary. My advice is that if you guys are going to do any type of, uh, you know, uh, cosmetic surgery or just any surgery, please understand the complications. And if you notice any uh, side effects, you get it checked out immediately. Don't just sit there and think, oh, get, it, get it checked out. Now, besides that, I mean, I was having the time of my life with my new body, which I love so dearly. And yeah, I felt more confident in my own skin, you know, because things started to make more sense. My body is more like well proportionate the way I've always envisioned it. Yeah, that's the main thing. I can really go deep, 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 but I just want to just let you guys know that. So as you know, when you do one surgery, right, sometimes you end up nitpicking and you gotta do something else now mind you i already knew in my mind that i wanted to do one more surgery i didn't care if people were going to judge me this was actually more important to me than the lipo 360 and the fat transfer okay so i knew i was going to get this surgery along with the lipo and stuff i just couldn't do everything all at once you know it's very risky i know you want to know <laughs> what other surgery like really Damn, more? Yes, yes, more. Because you know what? It's my journey. And there's more. I'm not going to spoil you guys and tell you guys everything right now. No, no, no. It's going to have to wait. <laughs> okay? The next video, I will tell you guys the last and final surgery that I um, did throughout my journey. But in the meantime, you guys can, you know, look back on all the other videos that I had recently posted, really watch and listen to my story and allow it to unfold. And if any of this resonates with you, great. Let me know. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And we will chat later. Love you guys.